Well, I asked Sister Marlon if I could <coughs> just say a few words. And I promised them to be few because we got to listen to the bishop, too. And uh, it's, I didn't, never thought I would be back here to address you, but I'm grateful that it's today. Because in today we see in, throughout the churches of the world, all the candles will be blessed. A part of what can be there is the presentation of the unlit candles that will be used throughout the church year for a whole year coming. We are reminded by external lights what really is the message of Scripture. That you, that we, are the light of the world. Jesus said that in the, cha in the fifth chapter of, of Luke, and it's so true. Because we are, when we go out from here, we are to be light to people, the people who are hurting, we bring healing, and that's the light we need to be. The people who live in hatred, we're asked to bring love and caring. And the people who are excluded, need to be included. The past 15 years, 14 of them I've been at St. Louis and Denmark, and Dykesville rather, <laughs> and I've had the privilege of being with those people, and the boss of that experience was a woman, was Pat Ratajczak, and it's a pleasure to see the gifts that she brought to that community and continues to bring to them to that day. And then I had an opportunity to, to come here and to see and get to know Sister Marla, whom I only really knew at meetings from time to time. And it's been a gift and a grace and one of the richest of my priesthood, to be able to come and to know you and uh, to be able to work with you. And that's what Pope Francis has called for. Pope Francis calls for the church to open its doors and welcome half of the human race, women, uh, probably a little bit more than half. They live longer. And, and that is a grace that we need to have. That's the inclusion in our day and age that I think God is calling us to, to experience and to possess the opportunity to work side by side and to, to march into a future that has a true light. So Marla, I thank you for the gift of yourself over these years, gift of your kindness, and I pray that your journey here will be long and fruitful. God bless you all. <laughs>